Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So, we are in Windenburg today. Home of all the clubs and groups, or whatever you call them, with the sole purpose of ruining them. Just for a laugh. So, uh, I've tried to do a little bit of planning this time round. I've written down all of the groups, more than what I thought. Really shows me how little I play with the club system that came with uh, Get Together. There are 11 clubs. So I've got the names of all the clubs written down along with all the club rulers. The kings and queens of the clubs because they're the ones that can change the rules. So let's start with the Bjergsen family because I want to start by making some damage to the upper crusts. Basically the, the whole goal of today is nothing more than just ruining the clubs, changing what they stand for, maybe giving them some stupid costumes, just making them all um, different. If by the end of this I'm left with 11 groups that are completely pointless and look ridiculous, then I have achieved my goal. Oh, you can see I've got base mental drugs <laughs> installed, so there's a little hint as to what my plans are. Right, so Clara, we're going to start with you because you are the leader of the upper crusts. Upper crusts? Okay, let's take a look at what what we've got going on here at the Upper Crusts. So Mila and Hugo are members, and all they do is they mix bar drinks, they cook, they drink bar drinks, and they eat. So the Upper Crusts are quite uh, snobby, snobby little food poshos, I think. So we're just gonna make a couple changes. Uh, so instead of Upper Crusts, Instead of being a snobby uh, food group, we're, we're just going to make them a little bit more relatable for me. So now they are called the Hot Dog Hose. Uh, see if we can find a more appropriate icon for them. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps maybe just a fish. Because that, that'll confuse people, won't it? Right, let's take a look. Let's get rid of all of their activities. We'll add a few more. So the hot dog hose, they can eat only hot dogs. And also I think we will we'll keep uh we'll keep the drinks involved. Because we do want them to get a bit drunk, only because we're gonna have them get a bit flirty with one another. How about kiss? Just a little kiss. Okay, so now they're called the hot dog hose, and all they do is they eat hot dogs, they get drunk, and they kiss each other. Uh, but I want to change their outfits as well, modify club outfits. I would like custom, please. That will be the men's uniform. That will be the women's. Right, I'm going to uh, get her to start a gathering. Club members have been notified they're on their way. Oh, look. She's straight into her costume. Oh, yes. Hey, hot dog hose. Where's our other hoe? Oh, Hugo's only a teen, so... I guess maybe we'll just have to give Mila a little kiss. Oh, we're the one not in costume. Oh, going over to grill straight away. Right, everyone get over here. We're doing some club activities. Well done, Mila, for starting to grill. Although I see it doesn't look like you're making hot dogs there. I wonder if she goes in for a kiss. Oh, here we go. Kiss. Thumbs up. I wonder if she goes in for a kiss, whether Mila would say no. Or whether she would let her get away with it. Because, you know, part of the club, isn't it? Just a little kiss. Oh, no. She's not interested. Oh, dear. Oh, but Mila, it's a club activity. Oh, I guess hot dogs are not as easy as they look. Well, I'm fairly happy with that. That's one group changed. Uh, let's uh, let's see if we can do some damage to another. Now, Bjorn Bergson is also the head of the Good Timers. Oh, Mila's in this one too. Mila gets about a bit, doesn't she? We're going to make a few changes to the Good Timers. I'm going to let them keep their their clothes. Teen, young adult, adult, elder. Okay, and currently drink bar drinks, play pub games. Okay, we're going to change the good timers to a little bit more of a club dedicated to drinking and violence. Just to make it a bit more relatable for everyone. So instead of good timers, they will be called Fisty Fuckers. 
And instead of a martini glass, we'll have a bear. And instead of play pub games, uh, we will have be mean. And we'll also have fight. There we go. Perfect. Now, before I start gathering with this group, I might just head to the pub. Seems like more of an appropriate setting for the gang, don't you think? So we'll go to the we'll go to the pub and then we'll assemble the fisty fuckers. Right, let's just get things going. We'll order order drinks for the group. We'll just all have a, a couple of pints or something. IPA, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that's right. Get the whole round in. Get one for the, for everyone. Right, let's just be mean. Rude interrupt. Rude introduction. That's what this club is all about. We like to meet up. We like to fight. Poor Mila. I mean, I've fucked up every group she was ever a part of. She's now part of the fisty fuckers and the hot dog hoes. That bartender's taken a long time to make a few beers. Really doesn't take that much effort. Where's my beer? I've been waiting for hours. Finally. Finally, my beer. That's it, Bjorn. Shall we fight the old man? Yeah, I think we should. I think we should. Let's go and fight him in first person. That's what this club is about. This is what we stand for. Fighting in the middle of a pub, making everyone feel uncomfortable. Yeah, that's right, old man. Get to the other side of this bar. He's coming over. He's coming over to us, ready for a fight. You excited? Oh, here we go. Oh, they're scrapping. Oh, oh, they're scrapping in the middle of the pub. What could be more thrilling? I don't even know... What's going on? I can't see arse from elbow here. What a thrill. What an absolute time to be alive. <laughs> oh, we won. Oh, yes. This is the best day of my life, beating up a pensioner in a pub. Oh, no hard feelings, though, man. Okay. Well, uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. Everyone's looking at me, thinking I'm a dick, but... I don't care. I play by my own rules. I beat to the sound of my own drum. Let's end this gathering and uh, move on. Let's move on. Find another family to screw up. I want to do something that involves uh, drugs because I do have base mental drugs involved. So I'm going to do... Oh shit, did I mean to do that? Uh, I'm going to do the garden gnomes. Okay, let's take a look. Garden gnomes. Oh, it's got a kid in it. I'm going to add another adult to the garden gnomes. We'll add Mortimer. Why not? He doesn't get to be in any groups. We'll add Mortimer. The kid might be a bit left out here, but that's okay. That's all right. Let's go to our settings. Okay, okay. So currently we have fish, tend garden, look for frogs. So instead of fishing, we're still going to garden, we're still going to look for frogs, but we're also going to do drugs. Okay, we're going to smoke weed, so we're going to get high while we're doing a bit of gardening. Uh, I might change that to a butterfly, and instead of garden gnomes, we shall be called grass bandits. Works in two ways, yeah. And I think I'm also going to do a, um, a uniform again think we're all going to be dressed as fairies that will be the men's uniform in fact i might just add a few more i might add uh, a female as well katrina caliente she will do she will do now before i start a gathering i do need to get myself a drug dealer so i might just make dominic a drug dealer assign drug dealer yep yep could have Janice Ian from Mean Girls. <laughs> yeah, we'll have Janice as the, the drug dealer. Fuck it. And then I'll just teleport her here. We also put some rolling papers there as well, just in case we just in case we need them. We will make ourselves very good friends with Janice Ian. Good friends. Buy drugs. We will get cannabis. There we go. Keep it PG for the kiddies. I won't do anything stronger than that. And what I'll do is I'll stick these papers in your inventory for you. Did you get some? 
What should we get? Uh, well, I mean, I don't really care. How about purple? We'll go purple haze. We'll roll a few joints. And then we'll give some as a gift for everyone. Perfect. Right, well, let's go somewhere like a park or something. Somewhere that's quite naturey, And then we'll, we'll start a gathering. What about the ancient ruins? Let's go there. Okay. Grass bandits, assemble. No, we're going to gather here. Hey guys, Mortimer, I've got a little gift for you, my friend. Give gift, friendly gift. We'll give him a joint. We'll also give Katrina a joint. We'll give Bjorn a nice little joint too. Um, Lucas, you can just watch. You're not really part of this. Sorry. They're all super thrilled with their present. Oh, Katrina isn't. You ungrateful slag. Right, well, how about we all go here together? Where should we go? Maybe by the fire? We'll light the fire. Then we'll have a couple couple of joints. Smoke some weed. Guys, why aren't you smoking your spliffs? That's what the whole point of this club gathering is all about. Look at the serious look on Moira's face. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mortimer's... Mortimer's starting too. Good job, Mortimer. Oh, Katrina's on it as well. Great success. All right, is this a club gathering or is this a club gathering? I like how the kid's just like a little little add-on just sitting around while all the adults are smoking weed and getting high. <laughs> Dressed as fairies. Uh, it's still, it's good that you're doing this before you go looking for frogs because I feel that that would make the experience that much better. Well, I'm rather happy with Grass Bandits. Uh, pretty pleased with how they turned out. I'm going to end this gathering and then I think we'll move on to another. So let's head to the Party House family. Okay, so Jada is the head of, what is she head of? Party House. And they have to dance be romantic with everyone, drink bar drinks. Okay, we're going to change that. We're going to change that. Instead of going to the club, we're going to be a little bit more involved in nature. So now we're going to play chess. We're also going to woohoo because I figured we're going to do this at the park place. So we're going to woohoo in bushes and wander maze. And we will be affectionately named... The Bush Brigade. And I'll give them the little the little lips and rows. There we go. There we go. Who's involved? Right, well, we're going to go travel somewhere, and then we're going to start a gathering. Okay, so my plan is... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're not that close from... We're not that far from here anyway, so that's good. Okay, so my plan is... Let's all go here together. We're basically just going to be... A bit of a woohoo club, essentially, who occasionally play chess in between woohoos. Now, I can't control everyone else, but what I can do is make her have a very good relationship with all of these sims. So she can just woohoo one after the other. Woohoo in bush. I keep asking her to ask him to woohoo in a bush and she just keeps walking over to him and then sitting down. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, wait, she's asking the question. Is she just going to go and sit down? Okay. Okay. Good, because this is what the club is all about, okay? What happens in Bush Brigade stays in Bush Brigade, except for all the onlookers who see you woohooing in public. All right, Eva, get in line. You're next. Oh, did she just... Oh, <laughs> I think she just got involved. Oh, okay. Was that all you wanted? Just a two-second... Fair enough, fair enough. Right, well, I'm pretty happy with uh, with this group. I'm going to leave this one here. Pretty simple, I know. But there are 11 groups to get through, and this is only, what, number four? So I need to get creative here. Let's move on. Okay, so we're going to go to the Fires household now. We're going to play with Siobhan, because she is the leader of the Paragons. So we're going to make a few changes to their group. All right, let's take a look. So it looks like she's got just teens... In the Paragons group. Uh, 
What do they do? Try on clothes, drink coffee, be mean to renegades. Okay, we're going to give this a complete overhaul. So instead, we're going to paint. We are going to smoke cigars, just like teens do. And we're also just going to tell some jokes. Just tell some jokes, man. Can you tell I'm running out of ideas already? And I'm, like, what, halfway through? And instead of paragons, they will be called the paintbrush chucklers. And we'll give them... There we go, that'll do. Also, I kind of feel like maybe we should get them to dress in, like, uh... Yeah, bohemian style. Oh, wait, what's that? Hipster style? Yeah, we'll dress as hipsters. Sure. So before we start a gathering, I'm going to put a load of easels in Siobhan's inventory. Okay, that's good, that's good. And then that way everyone has a canvas to paint on. I don't really know how they're going to smoke cigars. I don't know if I have to actually buy those. I'm guessing that's from the base mental drugs mod, but I guess we'll find out. Let's travel somewhere where we can start a club gathering. Maybe the park? Hair Square Park. Okay, let's start a gathering. No, we're going to gather here. We're going to stay here. And then we will pop our little easels out. Is she dressed like a hipster? I don't know. I don't really know how hipsters dress. Hey, where's my crew? Oh, here they are. Hey, gang. Already started painting. Check that out. Oh, ain't that beautiful. Some real artsy kids right there. They all look shit. Hey, Janice Ian is here. I wonder if I can buy some cigars from her. No, I think I can only buy... Huh, I wonder if I need to assign someone who can sell cigars. Oh, there we go. I just had to buy some. Is that a cigar? Oh, yeah, it is a cigar. Wow. Cigars, smoking's not cool, kids. Don't smoke. Not cool. All it does is kill ya. Yeah. Heroin, on the other hand. <laughs> I'm joking, don't do anything, right? Keep your noses clean. Well, I'm happy enough with this group. I'm happy enough with it. Good job. Good job. Let's switch over. In fact, I'm going to end this gathering. Thanks for assembling, everyone. You did a great job. Your paintings look like a fucking three-year-old did them. But you know what? You gave it your best shot. And I guess that's all I can ask from you. Good luck in the workplace. That's all I can say. Manage work. Manage worlds. Let's go. Uh, I think we're going to swing by the Villa Reels again. Okay, Jax, how are you feeling after that scrap you got into? Is that... Right, so both these two have got little groups. Max is the head of the Renegades. So we're going to remove these activities. We're going to add some new ones. So now we're going we're gonna to change the way that the Renegades behave, okay? We are now going to be only interested in all things grilled cheese. We're also going to roar all the time. So we're going to eat grilled cheese, roar, and scare people. Yeah. And instead of renegades, we will be called the Rotten Cheese Crew. It's a shame there isn't really a piece of cheese. That would have been ideal, wouldn't it? We'll just do fire because it's yellow. And also, I'm going to set the uniform as everyone must wear yellow instead of black. Let's start a gathering right now. We'll go wherever they usually go. Let's do a gathering wherever they usually go. Where's your yellow clothes, guys? Where's your yellow outfits? Ulrika, you look ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, where's, where can I get some grilled cheese around here? This is a terrible meeting spot. There isn't any, even anywhere I can get grilled cheese. Can we scare this kid? Downplay stress. This is a child. <laughs> Apparently they really hate each other. What did you do to this kid, Max? Why does she hate you so much? What, what, you guys are introducing yourselves only now. Why does she have such strong feelings of hate for you? Scare her. There you go. That would be so mischievous of you. I'm going to stick a little kitchen set in here. We need to be able to make grilled cheeses. Oh, someone's rustled up some grilled cheeses. That's it, guys. Help yourselves. Help yourselves. Grab a serving together. We love grilled cheese in this club. In this club, grilled cheese is life. Yeah, this is how the renegade should have always been. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's, uh, let's move on. Back to the Villareal household, though. So Jax is head of the Knight's Hedge, uh, which are a little bit too peaceful for my liking. So our main activity 
we're just going to do one thing. Use extreme violence. Actually, we'll use non-deadly extreme violence as well. I mean, we're not complete psychopaths. And we will be called the big time bullies. That's right. We're just going to beat everyone up. Yeah. Don't mess with the big time bullies. In fact, I think it might be time we start a gathering. Perhaps I should have left these guys till last because they might actually kill other sims. But I guess we'll see. We'll see. I might just save my game before they actually take any action. And then if they do kill sims, it doesn't matter. Okay, the big time bullies club has started a gathering. <laughs> She's dressed as a knight. Oh, that makes this all the more funny. Let's kick things off with some... Let's uh, ask to be partners in crime with these guys. Then we can just go and assault other sims. Who's that? Katrina Caliente? Looks like she's asking for some non-deadly interactions. Let's slap her. I really like that there's like a little group thumbs up, like slap, and the game says, yes, good idea. Oh, she slapped us back, you bitch. Let's punch her then. Yeah, we'll punch her. Hey, I'm only doing my club activities, okay? We're just a group of like-minded people that like to get together. I do activities for fun. Okay, don't fuck with Katrina Caliente. Let that be a lesson to everyone. Oh. Uh, well, we can't stay too long, so uh, we better move on. Let's go. Okay, we also have the avant-garde. I'm not going to do anything too crazy with these guys. These next two, the avant-garde and then the group I'm doing after these, I'm really not going to change that much. Um, I'm going to take out, play video games and drink coffee. They've got do homework, write, read. I'm going to keep those. But I'm also going to add debate and argue as well. Because these kids, you know, they're quite political. They want to change the world. They're the little uh, Greta Thunbergs of the Sims universe. So, oh, there isn't an option to argue. I'm just going to put give speech there and just preach to people. And then instead of avant-garde, they will be called... The stand takers, yeah? They're taking a stand, making a change. Sunglasses, why not? Um, we'll go to their usual spot. South Square Coffee. Okay, I'm gonna need to buy a couple of items then. I might get them a podium. There we go, so they can do their little debate speeches. Just what people would want when they're trying to enjoy a cup of coffee. Practice debating. That's right. You tell it, girl. Preach to all these coffee drinkers. There's not really much point in hanging around here. This is a pretty small change, and we have 11 clubs to get through, so we're going to move on. The next one is going to be really short as well. We're going to go back to the Bjergsen family, and we need to go see Elsa, because she's the head of the kids' one, the League of Adventurers. I wasn't actually going to bother with this one, because there's not really a lot you can do with kids. Um, so, but I, you know, the title says I changed every group in Windenburg, so... Admittedly, I'm going to do a bit of a cop-out with this one and just add a couple of kids' activities. So currently, they just play in the closet and play on the playground. So we're just going to add a few more kids' activities. That's a bit boring. We'll also do puppet shows and we'll play with toys. And we're also going to battle with void critters. There we go. I'm probably not going to bother um, starting a gathering for this one just because I don't really have any any lots that have all of this stuff available, I'd have to make a new one, and, and God, that would just be too much effort for me. I, I'm exhausted already. I've been recording for an hour and a half, so I, I really can't. It, it would be really too much. So let's just move on. We have two groups left, and they are going to be rivals. So we're going to go to Party House. We're going to make a couple of changes to that. We're now going to do pole dance for money and prostitute for money and instead of powerhouse we're going to be called power puss and our logo will be maybe maybe we'll do the cheeky little cocktail glass you know we're in for a good time and we're also going to wear only pink all right let's start a gathering gather at the wherever you guys usually go the gym We'll put some pole dancing stations at the gym. Guys, where are your pink clothes? Oh, look at you, you superstar. Right, let's give you guys a pole. 
Just give the other sims something to look at while they're working out. Oh no, that is a gym. That's right, guys, gather round. Gather round. There we go. Perfect club activity. Precious in pink. Clara seems to be missing the pole. I think she's a bit confused as to where it actually is. And I'm not really sure what fucking Paolo is doing. <laughs> I think he's just hoeing for money. Oh, you guys, you crack me up. You really crack me up. All right, time to make their rival group. Oh, they've acquired the prostitution skill. Good for you, Paolo. Good for you. Okay, let's go and make the rival one. I'm going to go to the Fires household. We have Dominic Fires, who is head of the Spin Masters. So we are going to make a few changes. So this club is going to be incredibly similar to the other one. It's just going to have one slight difference, is that they're going to wear a different colour. So instead of Spin Masters, they will be... Slut masters, my creativity has well and truly gone out the window <laughs> at this point. Rainbow! And uh, they're going to have the same stuff that the other group were doing. Prostitute, pole dance for money and prostitute for money. And this time the group is only going to wear purple. Let's start a gathering. We'll go to the club, yeah we will. This go tech pan Europa. I like going to their club places because it means for this one... I can um, put a poll in every location that they do club gatherings. Got to think ahead. We want to make sure there's a contingency plan so that this club system can remain intact even well after I'm done playing with them. All right, I hope we're all wearing purple. Uh, pole dance for money and then I'm going to assign... Oh, okay, maybe not. Let me just go and introduce myself to Candy and Joaquin. All right, guys, let's tear this place up. So the other club pole dance at the gym, we pole dance at the club. We don't go to the gym, they don't come to the club. We're rivals. If we catch each other on each other's turf, we just go crazy. And I think that's the last one. Let me check my list. Yes, that is the last club. Well, that was fun. So we changed every club in Windenburg. I wouldn't recommend doing this because it takes a very long time. <laughs> Although, in fairness, it's not like you would be doing it for a video, so you could take your sweet time. You could do it over the space of an entire day. But it's not something you can go half into um, if you're going to change every single group. It's a lot of groups. Eleven is, is a lot. But I'm pretty happy with that, and I'm going to leave it like this, so that whenever I play in this save file, I'll know why there are people dancing on poles in the middle of the club. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.